Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, I've got some great emulation news for you. We're talking about PlayStation 2, Emulation Station, and DOS. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about PlayStation 2 emulation on Android with Aether SX2. Aether SX2 just got a brand new update, not available on the Google Play Store, but if you're into testing out development versions, well, you might be interested in this news. The development or experimental version of Aether SX2 just got bumped up to Alpha 2328. And in this version is pretty much the same stuff that was in previous versions, except for a couple new points. Zero transfer buffer and disabled hardware download mode. Moves several graphics settings to the advanced tab, which is a nice quality of life feature and fixed DDS texture loading in OpenGL Renderer. If you are currently using the Google Play Store version of Aether SX2 and don't mind the stability of it, then I would wait until these updates hit the official Google Play Store version. But if you don't mind experimenting here and possibly getting a little bit better performance, then head to AetherSX2.com, click on Download, scroll down to where it says Close Testing Alpha. And from here, click on the top folder and it should be here right at the top of the list, Alpha 2328. As always, I will leave links to absolutely everything in the description below, so feel free to check it out. And if you are using development builds of Aether SX2, it's usually good to keep them up to date. Next up here, we're talking about an emulation front end, Emulation Station. Emulation Station version 1.2.5 just released. This latest build of Emulation Station is called a maintenance release, but I think they are underselling it just a little bit, and I am definitely not overselling it. Yes, there are some bug fixes, but there are some brand new features here. If you're using Unix or Mac OS, shortcut support has been added which should really help simplify setup. On top of that, they've added in some new systems here like the Pico 8 and RetroPie Emulation Station theme compatibility has been improved. On top of that, if we take a look at the detailed list of changes, there are a ton of changes in here, including adding in support for Capcom Play System, CPS, if you are a fan of CPS arcade games, you might like this update. On top of that, they've also added in configuration for the Google Android system on Windows. If you're currently using Emulation Station, I would highly recommend upgrading to version 1.2.5. And if you want to read more about this, I'll leave a link in the description below. Last up here, but definitely not least, we're talking about DOS emulation with DOSBox. And this is actually a pretty big update. DOSBox Pure version 0.95 just released. Now version 0.95 adds in support for easy use of operating systems like Windows 95, Windows 98, and 3DFX Voodoo emulation. Now in my opinion, adding in 3DFX Voodoo emulation is absolutely huge. It supports compatible DOS games, and it also supports games running 3DFX and Direct3D in Windows. So if you are using RetroArch, feel free to use the core updater here and check out the latest version of DOSBox Pure. Now if for some reason you're still not excited about this, or you want to get excited, or you just want to learn more about it, I'll drop a link to a highly entertaining trailer in the description below, and I do recommend checking it out. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, haul stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below, whether it's Aether SX2, Emulation Station, or DOSBox Pure. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.